this video, I'm going to go over some of the uh, modifications and accoutrement I've come up with for my Lee Safety Powder Scale uh, to make it more accurate and consistent. Uh, some of the stuff is stuff I purchased, other stuff is stuff I built, um, but most of it is going to go a long way toward making this scale um, still a pretty darn good value when it comes to powder measuring. The first modification I made to the scale was to replace the magnetic buffers inside this part of the scale body, and I replaced the uh, sort of gooey, plasticky, uh, brownish black mass of magnet that was in there with some quite powerful neodymium magnets. Now, the way I did this was I epoxied them in place um, so that the north pole of one was facing the south pole of the next. Um, that creates the appropriate magnetic field to increase the buffering here. So you can see it moves much more slowly and smoothly. And still comes to rest just as it normally would. Um, then the old buffer, which would just bounce back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, or allow the beam to do that. Um, in this case, it was a simple modification. Um, getting them in there was kind of tricky. I recommend doing it one at a time just because they like to snap together, um, but that really helps, I think, in terms of making the scale more readable. Now, suppose you don't have two of those uh, strong magnets lying around. Well, if you have one, I've got one right here, I keep on this screw of the table, uh, you don't need to worry about putting it in the the tower portion of the scale body here. As you can see, this is just a normal magnet. It's got the same bouncy nature that all of the uh, the beams do on these scales. If you place the magnet under the pan, it won't touch the pan, but it will slow down the movement. It's doing the same thing as this portion of the beam uh, between the two magnetic buffers, uh, but it's also stabilizing the pan it doesn't wobble as much. Normally that would just keep going. Actually, let me push it out of there. Show you what I mean. Knock the pan around and then the bounce is transmitted to the beam so it makes it more difficult to read. And just placing the magnet under there really takes the bounce out of it. I like to keep this one mobile um, because the check weights I use are stainless steel, and while they're mildly magnetic, it's enough to throw off the uh, to throw off the actual calibration of the scale. Now everything has been sitting on uh, this table that I've made. This is just a piece of, I believe, three eighths inch. Um, double X grade Garolite. It's a phenolic resin that's reinforced with paper. Uh, works pretty well with uh, just like a power saw used for cutting wood. Um, you, usually one used for laminate works best. Um, it has four quarter inch by 20 holes drilled and tapped um, to which these nylon feet are installed. I use the nylon feet to level it out. That's what this is. It's a bullseye level. I don't know how well you can see. That's an actual bullseye level. It measures the level in levelness in the two dimensions of the top surface. Um, that keeps it nice and level to make sure that my readings are consistent. There we are. Um, I also have this, basically just a safety belt for the scale. Also helps keep it in the same position each time it's reinstalled. Let's see in there. Just a piece of shock cord and a uh, just a sort of friction clasp. It holds it in place. It does restrict some of the downward movement of the beam, but uh, not so much that it, it throws off the accuracy or any more than uh, just bottoming out on the scale itself would. And the last thing to show isn't really to the isn't really a modification to the scale itself, but rather to the powder trickler I have. Um, I just used the Hornady plastic one. I know the general consensus is to use more weight, um, the most weight as possible, um, but this just remains unfilled, but I did take a big bite out of it, just with a hole saw on my drill press. 
Um, I actually mangled it pretty badly, but that doesn't really affect it too much. And it's it's got this cutout to fit around the bubble dial, or the uh, spirit level here. And that's just to give it more of a footprint on the actual surface of this table I built, which wasn't, uh, wasn't particularly well designed. I initially wanted it to sit on top of the spirit level like that, but it won't sit evenly just with either the way I've installed it or um, with some other unforeseen circumstance. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the things you've seen here, be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, to the extent that it warrants a response. Um, and be safe out there when reloading and shooting. To those who may ask about the relative strength of the Lee magnet and the replacement magnet I installed, uh, here is the standard Lee magnet uh, attracting a washer on a string. As you can see, it's got some attraction there. Here's the replacement magnet. Yeah, it's, it's capable of scooting the table off.